In a recent study, it was found that balloons... Mm. Uh, what's wrong, Tarek? Hmm? Oh, um, nothing. Oh. Tarek. I know I should be excited that this is our first episode of season two, but there's so much bad stuff happening in the world right now, it makes me mad. You seem fine. How do you deal with it? Oh, it's easy. I focus all my anger on one small trivial thing from the past. How? I'll show you in a segment called Being Mad Like It's 1995. is legendary group TLC. I think about them a lot. They didn't deserve what happened to them, and I'm still mad about it. In 1995, they released the song Waterfalls from their smash hit album, Crazy Sexy Cool. In addition to the amazing vocals and catchy hook, the song is deep, touching on topics like HIV and drug dealing. It's just a perfectly put together song. So many nice things were said about it, like, this song is great. Yo, this is the best song ever. Everyone else, stop making music. This song wins. Wait, 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 wait. Who said that? Me. All of those quotes are from me. <laughs> this song was a hit all around the world. At its peak, you couldn't turn on MTV without seeing that music video. Ugh. MTV is a channel that, before its current program schedule of teen pregnancy reality shows, used to actually show music videos. Music videos are a thing that we will watch if we really like the song. It's like those Tic Tac, Tic Tac dance videos, but not at all and way longer. I love that video. It is so awesome. It is. Then why are you mad? Because the song Waterfalls had a fantastic rap in it, but the radio edit version of the song has no rap. A perfect song was ruined. They took the rap from Lisa Left Eye Lopez out of the song and it was a crime. And it is my personal belief that the removal of Left Eye's rap from the radio edit is what stopped the song from becoming the national anthem. Amber, we are all in agreement. Please continue. And Left Eye wasn't some random guest rapper. She's the L in TLC. She starts her verse with, I seen a rainbow yesterday. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, you did, Left Eye. You had better speak on it. And she did. It is such a great verse. It is one of the best parts of music in the 90s and does not get enough praise. The radio edits removal of Left Eye's verse hurt the song's popularity. I believe that is the reason why it lost both its Grammy nominations, including the Grammy for Best Duo or Group, which went to Let Her Cry by Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Hootie and the Blowfish! That group only had one song, and that wasn't it. <laughs> I would like to speak to the person who started taking the rap part out of songs on pop radio and ask, what was the reason? Is a 45-second rap too aggressive for y'all? Are you scared your kids are gonna enjoy black art and start imitating it? What's the worst that could happen? Okay, well, we are both making points. You have a point, you do have a point, and I hated to hear it, but it's not like listening to rap will make Drake magically appear and give you a grill, gang membership, and a FUBU jacket. <sighs> clothing company. <laughs> the corporate excuse for the radio edit is that it allows them to play a shorter version of the song, but the radio edit always takes out the rap verse. Why? In many cases, it is the best part. Case in point, no diggity. Where the Party At by Jagged Edge featuring Nelly. Stutter by Joe featuring Mystical. Mm. Look, you guys are so young. <laughs> <laughs> These like mother I have not heard of one of no. these things. No. And like, nope. Mommy, turn down your music yeah. in the car. <laughs> Look, give us what the artists intend. Is, are, is, is, there, is rap music still around? I don't even know anymore. I right. feel. Okay. Baby so, Shark? Is that a rap? I, that's, the, that, that's the latest song that to is, reach me. That is it. So out of touch. Look, Go on Twitter and tag Amber and Tarek with your songs that you think we should know. Look, give us what the artists intended. We still see companies cutting the raps out of songs and calling it a radio edit. Y'all ain't slick. It's subtle racism di disguised as saving time. If you're scared you're gonna like it, that's for you to deal with. The rest of us just wanna dance. Now 
it makes me want to get out of my body and he, run away. It's the kid. I'm sure he is an adorable, sweet child. It is the blonde kid, and the I want to hug him and say, never do that again. <laughs> Don't you ever do that again. It is the same feeling as if, like, if a dog came in here mm -hmm. and attacked one of us. Yeah. That's the feeling. It feels like, you, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's you, nothing you can do. You know what it feels like? What? Remember in The Matrix when they were getting the plugs pulled out of their heads? Yes! The girl was like, not like this, not like this. It feels like that. Yes, that's it. So, we may have gotten off track. Bottom line is, that Left Eye's rap verse in Waterfalls is iconic. If you haven't listened to the song in a while, which you have not, I highly recommend that you do. It will make you so happy and then angry that the people in charge tried to give us a watered down version in order to stifle black excellence, which will distract you from all the crappy things happening today. So why get mad at things that are happening in 2021 when you can be mad like it's 1995?